All right. Hello, everybody. It's been a while. But... I am back, and... I thought, hey, why not? Oops. Why not treat you guys with a little gaming video? And hopefully later I'll move on on with the programming. So yeah, this is my Diablo 3 account and this is my Demon Hunter. I'm playing seasonal. So let's jump right into it. So what we're going to do today is just run around and do some of the bounty quests in adventure mode. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see, where should we start? We have a bonus chest here and a bonus chest here. So let's just start where we are right now. Let's go over to the farm of Field of Misery, where I can see there's also a key warden. So let's have a look. Oh, right into the action. Here we go. I'm not that good yet, but oh, who's that? Hopefully, this won't be too boring. So, I hope you're doing alright out there on the internet. I haven't really been up to much. Just doing work. Helping my ex move out of the apartment. So that's pretty much what has been going on for the past year. I guess it's three months. I began recently to listen to a guy called Massage ASMR on YouTube as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> there we go. Um, as well, because I needed some new male ASMR to listen to. For me, the male voice is the deep sound of the male voice, is what calms me down. But he's really good. He's Australian, I believe. The accent sounds like that, and it, and it doesn't really sound Kiwi, so my best guess is Australian. Um, but he actually gets help sometimes, I guess, by his wife and some of his friends to do his videos. So you're actually in the room when he gives out a massage. Ooh, and we're in luck. Oh, get out of there. We're in luck. Let's just... Look at this. We got some pants. Oh, which reminds me, I need to sort out all this mess. But oh, 
I wonder, can this counter hold? Can he hold? He cannot hold off that equipment. Alright then. But I have a bow for him. That's legendary. That's probably better. But, well, let's see. So. Me and my friends. Um, when my ex moved down. Went to Ikea and bought some furniture that we just spent an evening hanging up. Of course it <laughs> of course it involved some light heavy drinking as one would call it. Hmm. These are pretty pretty bad. Maybe if we can re-roll some stats on it later, but for now, the bone cross. Okay, maybe we should just head back just to get my chest sorted out and my inventory. So for those of you who have not played Diablo before, this one I'm in now is called Adventure Mode. It's something you unlock, I believe, when you get your first max level character. And it's just a opportunity to farm gear for you. Mm. And not have to go through all the story quests again, because that's not necessary, really. So that's what we're doing now. This guy is the... That probably was a bit noisy. I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll take a drink. I should probably stop smoking. So this guy, the artisan. Uh, no, not the artisan. The blacksmith. The artisan is his level. Um, he can salvage my items for me. So if I, as an example, didn't want to use these for anything, I could salvage them and get something like that. A forgotten soul. That's a legendary crafting material. These you get from the rare items, such as my r yeah my hands, my gloves here. As you can see up in the top, just above the armor, it says rare gloves, and that's the rarity of the of the item. So you go from normal to magic to rare to legendary to uh, set armors and so on. Um, I think the only thing on me, not legendary or above, are my hands, so, mm, yeah, yeah it is, but that should also mean that I need to upgrade soon some of the things. I've been getting help from some friends who are, who are much higher level than I am because, well, quite frankly, it's it takes a long time to grind, it, grind your way up. But, yeah. Okay, so, before I move on, I can explain what this is. The Nephilim Obelisk. Here you put in either the Keystone of Trials, which open a rift, or the keyst Keystone Fragment, which also, ro which also opens a rift. Um, the keystone fragment gives you a rift that's well it's it, its difficulty is according to 
what you have set your difficulty up here in the right corner like you can see I'm on torment 1 it goes up to torment 6 uh, and the keystone of trials you can see it has the legendary text color and it also means that this opens up a greater rift which you which will increasingly get harder and harder uh, when you as when you beat it within a time limit and in those rifts you get these blood shards as you can see right next to my gold and the blood shards you can spend here with Kadala and you can random roll items and I believe you can get well any item from random rolling these um, so let's spend all my blood shards and see what I get for gloves absolutely nothing alright then let's see if any of them were any better than what I'm wearing nope 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 we can salvage it and get some crafting materials out of it so this is my chest I have three tabs the first tab is where I keep my gems my keys um, which are used in some crafting recipes where well basically you I got this legendary thing and need to give to the enchantress. Um, well, basically, you open up another rift of some sort. I, I haven't been there, I've just been told this. You can craft this rift and get some pretty high level items by doing so. Uh, so, yeah, my gems, my epic gems, my keys, and my crafting materials. <coughs> yeah. So, this is what we'll do with this. This second tab is where I keep these ascended things. These are sometimes needed for crafting legendary items, but I haven't got that many recipes yet. And this is where I keep all the um, <laughs> this, this is a funny one. The Horatric Hamburger. Blizzard, you funny. Um, yeah, excuse me for a bit. And we're back. So, I d what I did was just to pull up on the other screen, my other, my secondary screen, um, what I may be needing, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything of what I have right now. So we have some amulets right here. I need Mara's kaleidoscope or Hellfire amulet. And that's none of these. And for rings I need focus and restraint, but that's part of a set and I haven't got those either. For my waist I need crashing rain. Well what do you know? I'll equip that then. I didn't even know I had it. That's lovely. Uh, we still needed to take a look at these. Here we go. Hmm. That's a pleasant surprise. I need to re-roll some enchants on it, but we'll do that in a minute. Alright. Also, I need Natalia's embrace. In torso, oh, uh, I like this one. I can actually get a lot more damage out of this one if I just put some gems in it. It's also a demon hunter one. 
Yeah, I'll do that. Unless I have Natalia's. I don't think so. Save this uh, black feather is also pretty good, but like the other one, a lyric signet. I also need to go through this for. Oh, that was the crossbow I wanted to give to my follower. stuff I'm doing right now is what I normally don't get to do when the other guys are boosting me because everything needs to go fast for them so I don't have time to stop and take a look at what I have of options Ooh. to consider changing my follower, but nonetheless, Cave of the Dark Knight, I'm Batman! Rings in her shoulders I have already. Waist and wrists. Sanctuary. Then braces. Then I need this strong arm bracers. I haven't got any bracers, so. Well, that's a given. None of that for me. I need Natalia's leggings. I don't believe I've got those either. Nope. Uh, and weapons, I haven't got any of those. Amulet, we checked before. Hands, Natalia's touch. We only got another set of hands, and those are not those. Oh, what's those? What are those? The Juni Prowlers. Yeah, they're not the ones. They're not. And I have no idea for how, how long I have recorded. Well done. Oh well. Mm. And feet and Natalia's footprints, but I don't think I've got those either. Nope. Alright. Let's see if we can find them. I need to take the gems out of this one, I think. Unless I have. Those are the hundred dexterity ones. Yeah, I got those. There we go. And voila. More damage, more toughness. Not in there. And you go in here. Alright. Because now 
now I have to black thorn stuff. So I get more vitality and increases damage against elites. And companion damage. Mm. Oh, my companion. Yeah, that's my wolf. That's actually great because... Well... Uh, impale. I don't use Impale. I use something else. Uh, combined gems. That's not you I need. You're up here, though. Yeah, so this is the Enchantress. And she can reroll stuff on your gear. So, if we take, for example, Natalia's side and say the Impale damage. I don't think I use Impale at all. Nope. So, if we take this and we reroll it, Yeah, that's fine. That's a better roll, but... Let's try again. Rapid fire. Is that the one I'm using? Nope. Critical hit chance. I would like something that's... Strafe damage, that's the one. I'm using this one, so that's great. Let's do that. Mm, what was the roll on that? I guess it sucked pretty bad, actually, because they all go from 10. Yeah, got the lowest possible roll on that one. But nevertheless, it's better than before, right? Okay, companion damage, I can deal with that. Evasive fire. That's the one. Yeah, that's alright. What do you do? None of that. Impale. So, this one we need to also reroll. So, that one right there. Let's see what we get. Cluster arrow damage. That's not. Multi-shot. Nope. Let's try again. Rapid fire. Nope. Mm. Nope. Nope. Jesus, how many rerolls do we need? That's not really what I'm asking for here. Double impale, god damn it. Alright, we need to get rid of some of these. Let's take that one and that one. What is this? Marauder's Massage. Let's take these and salvage them for some forgotten souls. I really need to keep this one. Where's Where's the Enchantress? There we go. Inventory and skills. Bump. Because now 
now she's gained access to all skills here. Really doesn't matter how what how you set it up. All right. And forgotten souls. Let's try again. Let's see if we can get something out of her this time. You gotta be kidding me. We can get everything, can we? Uh, elements now impaled, crack them strafe. That's one I need. That way, base of fire. Um, I can only get strafe, but it, that's that's the one I need. That's my main damage, so. <sighs> 50th times job. Strafe damage, that's the one. Here we go. And what do you do? Mm -hmm. I really need to re equip that. Holy damage. Maximum discipline. Uh, yeah, that's all good. And we're still recording? Yeah. Alright. Let's move on. Now we've best spent some time upgrading. I'll try not to click as much as I usually do because I know it's it's pretty loud. Do 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 do. Burrow bite. <laughs> Holy Pauls, that's that's a lot of enemies. some special creatures too. Well, what do you know? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, go away, go away, go away. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff going on right now, isn't there? These guys need to die. There we go. <laughs> well, that took its sweet time. Check that. All right. That's a lot of trees with bats in them. So as I was saying before. 
before we jumped into all the refinement stuff. Was that I've been watching Massage HMR ASMR on YouTube and I think he's great. His voice really calms me down and he's good at dragging the words long and making you relax and calm down. Just like that. I like that. And goes through all kinds of different triggers and he is one of those a one of those as modists who actually go through his videos afterwards and removes all the loud noises I've been sometimes I've found that many forget to do that and that's when you wake up with a shock just as you fall in asleep I think that's a shame Once again, I've forgotten how long I've been recording for. But maybe we'll find out. In a while. I think I'll just do this one part of the bounty today. Just to have a new video up. And should actually have uploaded something again. Because I know it's been a while. Huh? Well, I only do these when I think could be th it could be fun or relaxing for me to do a video I'll just take another drink my dog can take care of that tree there we go <coughs> but when I do get the urge to record, I do it almost immediately, because I, I actually enjoy it. And as I talked about in the comments of the last video, I might want to engage myself in some sort of community project meaning that if at all possible I would like to create a site a website or something where if you are a fan of the ASMR community that site could tie up um, and there we go, could tie together some of the wonderfulness of the community by getting the Reddit channel tied into some kind of feed with direct links and also the YouTube channel with the most popular watched videos of this week and something more like that but the sense of the community project would be that you people out there would come with suggestions especially for designs and something like that because web design really isn't my thing um, I can take basic templates that other people have made 
and make it work. But in reality, I'm I'm better at getting the back end part of things to work. But yeah, I think it would be kind of cool to have something like that. Oh, and I was just reminded again the other evening that Kiwi Whispers is a great day smartest. Of course, if you don't know him, look him up on YouTube. But he made a drawing on your face video, which is absolutely great. Because what he does in that video, and, wha and he does really well, is that he sounds really focused on the task just like if you remember the feeling from when you were a kid and was trying to draw trying to draw something pretty for your parents or something new you would draw for the first time Remember that feeling of how focused you were on your task and how happy it made you. That's that's what it sounds like in his video. That's how focused he sounds on the task of making the video while drawing on something next to the microphones and focusing on not to hit the camera with the marker pen and you can hear it in his voice and his tone and it's just it's amazing it was uploaded around my brother's birthday I remember so 5th of March thereabouts and I've, I've listened to it at least once a week for the yeah since it was uploaded it's just amazing it's a really good video so do yourselves a favor and watch it and if you have already watched it just rewatch it Absolutely fantastic. All right. I think we can do one more of these. The Den of the Fallen. I need to remove the hood from this. I need to edit this afterwards, and I definitely need to edit it now.
those of you who haven't played Diablo or maybe is not who's not familiar with how the demon hunter works I can walk you through my skills um, so the first one here is called strife And my neighbor, so. alright. Um, what Strafe does is I spin around and shoot projectiles at enemies. Um, and I have um, a homing rocket that goes off while I do it as because of my rune which is and the runes are now a part of that skill and I have companion I've got the wolf companion um, and he just is my friend and he attacks stuff and I can activate him to gain increased damage for 10 seconds I have preparation which gives me discipline which is this one over here it's my resource to use some abilities and hatred is my main resource and I have Screen, which is a getaway skill so if things get a little hairy well I just press this and I can move through enemies and I become invisible my evasive fire is this one just a I just shoot to generate hatred and it does weapon damage and cold damage and this one is the reign of vengeance which is really just unleash hell unto my enemies so what my tactic is I activate the extra damage I go in do strafe for as long as possible and then I I shoot evasive fire for as long as p until I've generated all my hatred and then just go into strafe again and keep repeating that until everything is dead here we go these grotesque as they're called and they explode and within them there are some worms and their explosion of course deals damage and they're not too bad alright let's go down here and see what's up so this is then of the fallen they are also used this, this name for a den in Di Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction <coughs> so as we can see now we need to find Den of the Fallen level 2 level 2 of enemies so now we just run around oh no we kill this guy so the yellow dude in the middle here he's a special one he is frozen pulse which is 
the blue orb you see spinning around up here. He has electrified, which is why when I hit him, like so, these little blue electric orbs comes out of him. These ones right here. And he's shielding, which is annoying, to say the least. Um, oh, and apparently they explode when they die. Uh, yeah, molten. Um, but again, if you just remember to move around and just focusing on not getting hit well, then you'll be fine. I can play on Torment 2, but I'm choosing not to play on Torment 2 because everything takes a little bit longer and well I think it's funnier if it if I am a bit of a killing machine to say the least who just roams the halls and takes out everything with ease at least for when I need to just relax and especially now there's no good reason for me to Well, to, to become startled or anything, because when I do I scream, <laughs> my friends think that's annoying. <sighs> I'm frozen, there we go, <laughs> when we play together, but that's how I react if I'm dying. And you don't want me screaming into the microphone now just want you to relax and enjoy this. Ooh. Something good, something good, something good? Nope. Damn it. Well, pull of perfection, there we go. and they pull me into them so it's very hard to avoid and if you go too far away they just fire mortar shells and they duplicate so yeah these are annoying especially in a small confined space oh move It's the frozen thing that's the worst because then I can't move away if I see anything that I desperately need to move from. Come on, there we go. So we need to kill all the enemies down here, it says. Hmm, there's a lot of chests down here. I like that. specials. I just think it's this guy who's a little bit special. Let's just kill him. Oh, he's a waller. So this wall you see going up around me? That's this guy. That's this guy's work. <coughs> and when it gets you into a corner with these walls, it's it can be annoying, but yeah, then again, not too much right now. Hmm. Alright. Okay, where's the tree that spawns these guys? Oh, there's only four enemies left. That was quick. Alright. Well, I'll go back into town and I will salvage my stuff. Whoop, whoop. 
restore it. And I will say thank you for watching. And I hope this put you to sleep somewhat.